Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's been a while. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you guys something I made. It's a predecessor, well, it's sort of a replacement for Clydo. It's a tool I made called Tuidu. I'm working on a new version of Clydo that also supports the same format as Tuidu, but um, let me just show you the program. So if I run it in my terminal, you get something like this, and this is a list selection screen and uh, you have these shortcuts at the bottom that tell you how to use it so for example I can create a new list so uh, my uh, test list for TUI do uh, TUI do video and it automatically gets turned into a file name which is nice and I can select it with the arrow keys I can also delete the list with the X key, which I'm not going to because I'm going to show you how to use to do with this list. I can rename the list if I want to. Um, I can also uh, go inside of it with enter. And when I'm inside of it, you'll see this shift plus H for cheat sheet, and I can show you that too. So I'm going to enter this list with enter. And inside this list, I can use the left and right arrow keys or the H and L keys to move to which part of the list I'm selected. And let me open up Cheat Sheet. So Shift plus H. This will open up Cheat Sheet. And this basically tells you how to use TUIDO. So, um, so to quit TUIDO, you use the Q key. To write changes, uh, you use W. So if you do a change, uh, you have to write it. And to add a task, you use the A key. To delete a task, you use X. And to rename a task, you use R. To undo changes, you use the U key. And to redo changes, you use Shift U. When you see a capital letter here, that means you follow it with the Shift key. And then to toggle cheat sheet, use Shift H arrow keys slash vim motions is how you move around and holding down the alt key is how you move around a task so I'm gonna get out of this cheat sheet and I'm gonna press a to add a task I'm gonna call it I don't know feed the cat and I'm gonna press enter and now that's a task and you'll see this unsaved changes down here I can press W to write that and I can add another task, so go for a walk. And what's cool is if I try and quit with unsaved changes, it's gonna ask if I want to discard unsaved changes. I'm gonna click no, uh, but you have that option. And then to move the task, um, I can hold down Alt and just move to one of these other list areas and I can also undo changes with the U key so you can see this moving um, or I can redo changes and undo them again it's I'm really proud of this undo redo system this actually did take me a while because I I had to move everything into actions so then uh, I could also have counter actions which is how the the undo works I'm using a crate called redo to track the history and to um, logically manipulate it and stuff. And I can rename the task. So I'm going to rename the task feed the kittens. Sure, kittens. This will rename it. I'm going to write. And I can also delete the task with X. I'll delete go for a walk because maybe I want to pet my cat. So I'll delete that. I can also undo, I can redo, and it works as you would expect. And also if I add a task and I'm selected on one of these other lists, it actually adds it to pending. I did that on purpose. So um, play some video games and it adds it to pending. And I can delete that because I don't really play video games. I do programming. <laughs> uh, so that's essentially the gist of this program I made. It's just a terminal to do application. And I'm planning on adding more to it, like a config file and whatnot. This is just, I just wanted to get a video out and I wanted to show you this. And it is ready for production. Like, you can use it. Um, another thing 
is you can actually integrate uh, 2D with a project. So I'll create a folder called my awesome project. And I'll go into my awesome project. And you could have whatever you want in this awesome project. Uh, it could be a Git repo, for example. Um, so another some place where you would want to integrate 2 for example, would be a Git repo with code and you have tasks you want to complete and stuff. So the way you integrate 2 do is 2 do actually has some commands. So if I do 2 do dash dash help, I'm using the clap framework to uh, add some commands. Clap is probably the sole reason why I would never make a terminal uh, why I would never make a command line application in anything but Rust. Rust just makes it so good. So um, here's the commands list, and you can see this integrate command. This is how you integrate TUIDO. So if I run TUIDO integrate, what it does is it creates uh, oops ls a. It creates a dot u to do folder. U to do is the universal to do format that I made for to do in any of my future to do projects. Um, it's just a generic format I made that other to do applications can also adopt if they want to uh, mingle with applications like to do. I made it because I didn't really see a universal uh, to do format. So, but I can actually go into here. Inside uh, you to do there's a folder called lists and the reason I put lists in here is in case other programs want to store other program specific metadata in this directory uh, so inside lists this is where your lists would be so if I go back uh, I can run to do and now I'm integrated in this project so now I can create a list called my epic integrated list and in here I can say like uh, task one blah 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 so task one and I can um, yeah so now if I go back into that dot you to do and the lists directory if I ls you'll see a list here and if I helix it it's actually in toml format so I can set language toml and you see, so up here you have u to do. This is just the format version. Um, so you can ignore this. But then down here you have pending, and this is where the pending items are stored, the progress items, and the finished items. Uh, pending are tasks that have yet to be done. Progress are tasks that are, well, in progress. And then finished are tasks that you have done. So, um, and so you saw one other command. When I ran to uh, do dash dash help, you saw this edit command. Now, what this is, is I can actually touch a new file. So I'll just say my external list. I'll just say my external list. And the dot u to do format specifically says uh, to not add dot toml on the end this just makes it easier for uh, to e applications or like to do applications that want to list out the lists uh, as raw file uh, lit raw file names sorry I can't speak today but if I go into here I can artificially make these fields so I'll say you to do uh, I'll say 2.0 also set the language to Tomil so I get some nice feedback here in the editor. Um, I'm gonna say my pending lists, uh, my pending items. I'm gonna say my progress items, and finally my finished items. And why not? Why not? In the progress item, I'll say make a video about to do so I artificially just created a you to do list so what I can do is if I don't want to integrate to do or I don't want to use one of my uh, system 
lists and I just want to edit a single file, what I can do is run the tui do edit command and I'll pass in that. And if I run this without an argument, you can see it errors out because I need to pass in the path. So tui do edit and then my external list. And this will open up the list up in tui do. And this is, again, useful if you only want to edit a single file. So, yeah, that's essentially all there is to TUI do. And I will, as a bonus, go over how to actually install it if you want to play around with it. So, I've never mentioned this before, but I've got, well, I haven't mentioned it in a dedicated video yet. So, I've got an Arch Linux repository, and it has all my software packaged for Arch Linux. So, if you wanted to install this and you're on Arch Linux, what you can do is you can, and I'll have these links in the description, including the repository for TUIDO. So, uh, and I'll, yeah, no, you know what, I'm not going to sign in because I don't want to accidentally leak anything. So, uh, this is my Arch Linux software repository. And there's instructions here in the readme for how to add it. Basically, what you want to do is copy this, what's in the readme, and you want to uh, edit your uh, pacman.conf in slash etsy slash pacman.conf. And um, I already added it, but essentially, you'll see like all these down here. Like, for example, if you're on Endeavor OS, you'll see brackets Endeavor OS sig level include. So you just add that down here. And, and then all you have to do is do sync your mirrors with sudo pacman-syy. And that's it. And then you have my repository. Then all you have to do to install it on Arch is do sudo pacman-s2edu. That's essentially it. So uh, if you are not on Arch or you don't want to use my pre-compiled version for my Arch repo, what you can do also is install it directly from crates.io. So you can do cargo install tui do. And this will also install it um, just from crates.io. Because it is on crates.io. I can show you crates.io slash crates slash uh, tui do. So it's also on here. And I have 302 downloads here on crates.io. And, um, yeah, that's how you install it. So, I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a quick one. It's just how to use TUIDO, uh, TUIDO, my to-do application that I worked on recently um, that I've been using in place of Clido because TUI applications are just nicer. So, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Ciao.